All right, part two. So we've done our thumbnails, which you can see here, and we chose number six, and we are going to we're going to basically go into this some more. So I need to name these layers. Thumbnails. Name your layers. Don't. Don't be like me. <laughs> Name your layers. Uh, all right. Chosen thumbnails. Draft one. All right. So we're gonna lock this one so we don't draw on it by mistake. Save. And now we are going to take a look at the references for this lady. Well, maybe not yet, but we're just gonna have a, a general idea of how her face works, I guess. Little subtleties. Because we don't want to end up drawing like a generic fix for her. Like, she have like certain things that make her her. So we want to keep that. So we are going to work in orange or green or blue or purple. Yeah, she she has some powerful eyebrows. Not more powerful than Lady Satsuki from Kill la Kill. Those are the most powerful eyebrows. All right, so. I'm gonna zoom out a little bit just so you could get the initial the initial Alright, so everything is going up like this. Right, her shoulder. Alright, so we gotta make this a little smaller. Alright, so she's gonna be in the upper left corner. Alright, one shoulder maybe down. Her jawline will be here. Again, this is the first draft, so we're just going to nail in like proportions, I guess. And then we're gonna have another draft over that first draft. I know, I know, real G's only draw on one draft, but I'm not a real G. Let me get that, let me get that through your skull now. I'm not a real G. Maybe half her shoulders. What did I do with this here? I, I completely ignored that other shoulder. <laughs> uh, hmm. I think I'm gonna make this a little smaller too because I don't want I want the focal point to be the third dragon. I don't want her face looking away to compete with that. So as well that that'll have to do with colour, like hair would be a little more faded out. When did I stop? It right, eight twenty, so 9.05? 9.05 will be the next break. Well, 9 o'clock. You call it 9 o'clock. And get the head in. And 
drum in here. Again, I just kind of playing around with, well not playing around because it's already there, but kind of making sure I get this perspective correct. Jaron, yes, I am drawing your wife. This is especially for you. Alright, let's try it again. Alright, I had it too tilted. Try to make this a little smaller again. Alright, just be a little look at them dragon's face. They're so cute. Alright, I just want to get any face of it so I know I'm making the allotted space. Or maybe I should have it. the nose sticking up more like that, like inquisitive. Yeah, I'm, I'm using Mango Studio. Well, it's called Clip Studio Paint now. So this is the one after Mango Studio 5. Maybe he'll be like clinging on to the arm like that. So be head a little bit. Right, little horns. Any other two dragons? So I like to imagine, correct me if I'm wrong, that the red and black one, which is based off of her, her um, her lover. Correct me if I'm wrong. Don't beat me. Would be the the dominant one, I guess. And then the green one would be like the brother that follows. And then the yellow one would be like the lovable youngest one who always kinda play any fool. Yeah, this has um this has vectors in the sense that you can use vector layers so that whatever you draw, um, no matter if you size it up or down, um, it's not gonna lose it's not gonna lose resolution. But I don't believe it has um, vectors in the sense of actually, like in Illustrator. It, it don't have vectors like that. At least I don't think so. Alright, 
right, and also be here. Oof. Had a carbonated crown water. I don't know why I keep buying them. They taste so bad. Alright, that's what I was saying before. This one would be kind of pulled up. Looking. But it's it's carbonated. And it's like three dollars. No, it's two dollars. So cheap. Alright, this one. This one will be looking over. Like this, and then the third one. And then maybe her plants could come over like that. So I want to make sure that this entire area here is just reserved for that dragon. So we have one section with everything going on in the front here and then we have the next section with just him. So from his angle, he's really stretching out. There may be some logistics I have to sort out before I get to the line art stage, but that's what this is for. Uh, her outfit, what will she be wearing? She could be wearing her season 7 outfit. Which I believe is this. Alright, so that has a little sash thing over it. And I don't know why you miss all what to do, you know. Last one, I have three characters, and then this one, I want to be drawn out, you know. Just, just do like myself. Angry eyebrows. Angry. Okay, no. <laughs> Let's draw from there. So you're going to use this other base. And head on to the second draft. Second draft now we're gonna put in more of the details of a face.
and all the details of the dragon and whatnot. So the second draft should be the last one. I try not to do a second draft, but that's mostly when I'm doing portraits and when I'm on a, a time restriction. But I, I try to nail down everything in the first draft, but for this, this is a more complex piece, so I guess it'll serve me better to do a second draft over the first one where the first one has kind of everything in place. So we're going to zoom in a little bit more on her face now. And she kind of has cheekbones coming in here, so just mark that down here. And then her chin is kind of pointy as well, so mark that here. Alright, the neck is coming down from here. And then eyebrows will be here, top of the face. Which means her nose is here. And a forehead is about average size. Don't wanna make her too angry. Though I guess I know in a world like Game of Thrones is there's a lot for you to be angry about, I would imagine. Make sure her cheekbones here. No, this is at an angle. The eye needs to come up more like that. Why do I hear drawing things at an angle? Which means you're going to see under her nose a little bit as well. Now I know she looking like the hardest man right now, but this is just me <laughs> putting in the the um what I'm seeing in its most in its most um basic form I guess. Just to make sure I get everything right. Now I'm really loving this angle because you're gonna see you're gonna see like the underside of her lip a bit as well. And then you're probably gonna see the other, her other eyebrow. Because like your face does this weird thing where even if you're looking at the side, what I've noticed, even if you're looking at the side and you just like one eye, you will see the eyelash of the other eye even though you don't see that other eye or you may see like the very tip of the eyebrows of the other eye and it, it kind of makes it feel more whole right so the air is coming in like that Her chin could afford to come down a little bit. Right, because it has a little bit of a thing. Right, and then the neck comes out from there. And then what I like to do as well with characters that have like bangs or just hair coming on the side, especially when in a side view, is to have one, one bang 
like out like that it's a it's a it's a position that would never make sense if you're drawing it like straight on but that's the advantage of having it like that so you can have one strand here and it just feels really it, 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 it gives it a nice look I find Right, and then of course the other one will be here not on her face too much Let's see if I can bring back this eye a little bit yeah Because you want this shadow. We really, really um considering the, the planes of the face. So you wanna consider this I'm gonna outline it in red. You wanna consider this area as a plane. And then you wanna consider this here. This. All all the different planes and how they will catch light. Thanks! Yeah, so you want to consider all all the different little planes, especially when you when you're going at an angle. So you could do that with little shadows in one time. So light will be catching here. It wouldn't be catching here. Obviously, all of this would be dark, and then you could um exaggerate it a little bit by having it push through the down. The sketching part I find to be like the most fun because you get all of the feeling into it and everything and like it, it it's like the pre-hype. Feel this air could come down a little bit as well. Right, so considering the head is a dome here, but we also want to consider the um the angle which will change how we see the planes so we want to consider this as well the back of her head which would be here right that's all say me to this little chin part here Right. She has she has little braids coming down. Let's see if I have another picture of it. Those are a little better. Look. Okay, let's just try it from here. No, I'll just fix it later. She has kind of braids coming on like so. Ah, perfect. Even though this seems to be an earlier season version of her, but I'll use a free reference of this here. Also, do not forget to save. And if at some point in the stream my computer doesn't eject my Wi Fi adapter, I'll be shocked. Just gonna knock on wood any, and just in case. Don't wanna blight myself. But yeah. If you see the stream goes goes down, that is exactly why my computer hates me. So the braids come on from here. I wanted to come oops, I wanted to come down in a bit of an arc. Arcs arcs in in um in drawings I find they they please into the eye where everything kinda has a like it arcs this way and it 
that we want you to see that in the picture. Alright, so maybe I'm gonna have it come out like that. And then come out so. Right. Where am I getting this idea she has braids from? Does she have braids this season? Doesn't matter. Right, I got the braids from. Oh no, it's not really braids. Oh shoot. Hmm. Can I do braids anyway? Anyway, so for people with long hair, like hers, just having like strands that come up in arcs. And the same thing I said where when you have a profile view, you can have hair that normally would not be coming out to the side like that. It would look bad on a front view, but on a side view you can get away with that. And it, it, it's pretty nice. Let's look at our outfit. I'm gonna pop on the wrong layer. Little Nary's gonna have a braid. I don't see what's wrong with that. Braids her hair sometimes and she's not telling her dragons to kill people. I got her correct, right? Seems to be a cape, some kind of cape thing. One, two, three. So how I'm gonna combat combat the possibility of her face and the dragon's face competing is that with the colours I'm gonna have her face more desaturated. And his face is going to be like the most saturated, so you're, you're going to look there first. Or if anything, you're, you're going to look here eventually. So I, I want to have all these kind of subtle guiding lines, so like the dragon's um, wings pointing down, her hair, all her hair is pointing down, like even the angle of her neck. And how her body is coming on. It's kind of pointing down like that. So that, that's what I'm trying to do. So she has a kind of, I don't know how to describe this clothing, but she has a kind of thing. And the boobs always start lower than you think they do. In my case anyway. I always start them up higher and then I have to be like, no, they start lower. I'm gonna take this thing off, it's distracting. No, not me, of course, I am a woman of the Lord. Right, 
which you can have and coming down so and then we always want to be like referencing back to the initial thumbnail to make sure we're getting the feel we're getting the same feel of it and so far yeah I still feel the same feel of it she's looking off and then dragon's looking down I think I'll use a, um, a symmetry ruler on this. This is one of the, the biggest advantages over Photoshop, sorry, to Photoshop users that I have with Clip Studio Paint. The ability to use special rulers. So you have perspective rulers and then you have um, symmetry rulers, which is what they added in Clip Studio Paint. So I could draw a line here. And then whatever I draw here, I'll draw it, it will draw on the next side. Perfect symmetry. The reason I don't use it a lot is because symmetry is pretty obvious. If you're not trying to make it obvious, if that makes sense. Like somebody could say, well, yeah, yeah, that's symmetrical. And it could almost kind of throw them off in a kind of weird way. So. Oh, what I could do. Is use the symmetry for the draft and then draw it over with a pen when I do the line art. Alright, so let's get references for the dragon here. They are so cute. Why didn't they stay this size? Yes, I know why. So we're gonna have one. What, what is the size of them to hit? Alright, there we go. Alright, so this one gonna be yelling because. That's what he does best, he yell. I'm gonna have to get a, a few more references for the dragons just to make sure I nail them. Do they not have tails? Oh. Alright. Alright, so I'm gonna use the tail as a guideline too. Alright. So one is saying row XD. Wait a minute. Selene. They don't have arms and wings, they just have wings. Silly Selene. So they could just be balancing on the legs like they're doing in this one. Since they have a little more space, I can afford to move this guy a little bit 
and wall cross. Don't mind me yawning, I had a long day. Right, so the chest kind of pops out a little bit. And then the abdomen. And then... Kind of balancing on. Right. Right. So that is one. second one could just be crouching below I imagine they're identical they're just in different colors but I'll look to see if there's any discrepancies between them so this one have him out close because he's mind his own business and just be Maybe one arm here and one arm here. Alright, and then this little fellow here. So now I can show you all what the um, symmetry ruler can really do. So I drew a line of symmetry there. And Let's look at this boy's face. Oops. So everything we draw is going to be duplicated on the other side. And you can set it so that everything you erase is duplicated on the other side as well, which I did. the base of his head which is pretty wide little horns in the background and then maybe you can have a little bit of you can have a few scales in the front I don't think I'll draw all though Just some scales to protect her in sync. And then eyes on each side. And you're looking straight at you. And then he has a kind of triangular chin. And he has a bit of a cheekbone here. Dragon cheekbone. Dragon cheekbones. That's a new way to describe somebody. They have cheekbones like dragons. It's a compliment if you look at it. So we're gonna take off. We're gonna take off the um, snap to special ruler, so that it doesn't draw in symmetry anymore. 
and then we are going to draw the rest of them. I keep pressing rotate instead of erase. So I want to draw it in a way that it looks like he's sticking out his face to look at you. Like it's like he's really like stretching out like really wants to see what, what's going on with you. So I imagine he will be perched on his he will be perched on his leg as well, but he's like kinda of sticking out and trying to hold on with it with the toes. I want to see just how much for shortening I really can do here. I'm going to take a look at the wings. So maybe I'll have, like, you see the foot holding on to. Uh, and it's like you see the cloth and then maybe his claws could be like in front Take off this underlayer for now. I mean, this arm is exaggerated, but the arm does um, bend out like that. It's similar to how the leg does a, a kind of bend as well, a kind of S shape. The arm does that as well, but I'm just exaggerating it. that's that for the sketch so I'm going to pause here again and we're gonna come back and start drawing it, the line art so stay tuned for part three and see you all at the next video if you're watching this on YouTube